Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and we've got another installment of a new thing? These weeks in EDM. I missed a week, and so we're gonna be looking at two weeks, the last two weeks of music that have come out this week in EDM. So we've got a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, 47 songs, 47 songs. I'm gonna do a quick mini talk about, so I'm gonna try to speed through as much as I can. There'll be all the chapter marks below if you wanna see all the individual things and, and the description, all that kind of stuff. So 47 songs, and because there's so many, obviously there's one in every category, trash, bad, meh, good, and standout, and a lot in standouts, so wait till the end. Um, so let's hop into things right away. In the trash category, we've got Shockwave by Rehab and Afrojack. Uh, it's got the astronaut in the ocean sample, um, like the, you don't know about rolling down and whatever. It's two minutes and two seconds, the drops are lifeless, there's no reason for the song to exist. And then we got What Girls Do by Keys and Crates. Uh, it's a Moubaton beat with an annoying vocal sample, uh, and it feels both overproduced in the needless amount of layers on top, and also underproduced in its foundational beat. And it's just a pretty crap song, uh, which is very disappointing from Keys and Crates. Uh, moving into the bad category, songs that I just didn't like, songs I thought were bad. Uh, Back to You by More Plastic and Enigma. I'm not sure, I think it's just Enigma. Uh, lots of genre mix-ups within this track in a very short amount of time frame, and it just didn't do it really well for me. It kind of landed, especially in the back end, with a hardcore beat, and that's just not my style. So I just, I don't know, I thought I'd try to do too much in too little time, so. Then we've got Pull Up by DJ Hansel, who is actually Dylan Francis. Um, the anti-everything LP or album is out now. It's, a, it's his Deep House alias, uh, and therefore, uh, I guess record from from Dylan. Um, it's just, but this track in particular is stale and a little uninteresting. I think the whole album was particularly. I did not think about it. Did not think fondly of it. So uh, then we've got "Behind My Eyes" by Buse featuring Helen Helene. Uh, a kind of distant slap house track with almost these like kind of whispered vocals to it. It was really weird. Um, it felt like the whole track was like losing air. It felt like someone grasping for air the whole time on the track. It just it was really weird and, and just didn't sit. Just didn't sit with me in any real capacity, I would say. Uh, and then we've got maybe a, maybe an interesting opinion. Uh, Take Me Into Space by Dada Life and Dexter King. Uh, I've loved Dada Life for years. And I really enjoy what Dexter King has put out recently, but uh, I just didn't like this. I, maybe I'm getting too old, but this just, I don't get it. It feels awfully repetitive, repetitive for me, and there's so little going on. I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just not for me, but I, I, I didn't get it. I just didn't get the track, so... I'm uh, moving right along to the meh category, and there's a lot this week in meh, so we gotta be running through these, and you'll hear me say a lot of the things a lot of times here, but uh, we've got Stay by Mazer and Josh Rubin. Uh, the closest Mazer has ever been to Electropop, I would say. Uh, it's light production with a simple hook and uh, digestible lyrics there, so. And then we've got Carry Me Home by Will K and Eddie Thonick. Uh, just a super underwhelming track. There's little structural variation here, and it's just a very plain house track that's just kind of just exists uh then we've got light by andromedic and andromedic and uh murdoch featuring dualistic uh pretty boring drum and bass here with uh vocals that were a bit of a drag for me personally it's not necessarily a bad song it's just as things are in meh for me often it's just it's just not interesting i think so and um, then we've got Hooked or Hot Stuff by Ricca and Galantis. Um, kind of a fun, mindless track that's a quick hit of Commercial House. Um, not a bad song I would want. I kind of want to hear on the radio. Like, this is this is one I wouldn't mind hearing on the radio, I would say. And then we've got Find Me by Nitrofun and 3DI. More house from Nitrofun. Uh, and the first timer, I guess, 3DI here. I'm not really, I haven't seen anything else from this artist ever. Uh, but uh, yeah, deep house approach with uh, kind of these off-putting vocals and a very kind of steady, darker beat to it. So landed here in meh. And then we've got My 303 Wants to Bang Me by Fowler and Jello. Uh, this is simultaneously an edgy and stupid, silly track. Uh, it's kind of like a techno vibe to it um, that actually kind of slaps. Uh, but I think in the end, it's just a little too annoying for me. So then we've got Pura Vida by Hilo, who is Oliver Helmden's uh, alias. Um, this is your extremely basic track, uh, Deep House track here. Um, it feels like it's a garage band structure of, you know, when people make that track that uh, kind of goes, they don't know what to do with the build, so they kind of just stop and it goes boom, boom. Like then it goes into the beat. That's exactly what this was. I don't, I don't know why. It feels like a very garage band structure to me, even though I probably couldn't do better. Uh, then we've got Day Glow by Armin Van Buren featuring Stuart Crichton. Crichton? Uh, really standard progressive trance track. If that's your kind of thing and that's your deal, you like that, then you will enjoy this. But if not, it's it's kind of standard. 
Then we've got Real Spring by Skrillex and Blade. I know now it's Blade, not Blady. I'm not drained, apparently. Uh, but, you know, all things considered, I thought this was to be pretty boring. I'm not a huge fan of Blade's vocals and that kind of just mumble, whatever you want to say that was. So, uh, yeah, not, not a huge fan. Production was okay, so it just landed in meh. I think that's something... Uh, Something's Coming by Cheat Codes and Lady A. The day that Cheat Codes is higher up on the list than Skrillex is shocking. Um, the One Night in Nashville LP is out now, which is a, a mixture of both electropop and country, which is, oh my goodness, not up my alley, but for some reason it kind of works. It's honestly not that bad uh, with the, what I've listened to. So uh, if that's your kind of style, you like electropop, you like country with a country flair to it, maybe you like this. But um, honestly, better than I expected it to be from what I've heard, so... Uh, then we've got Gamble by Huber and Prosecute featuring Michael Andrew. Uh, your very mechanized rhythm here, uh, not my flavor. It, it's a little screechy for me and a little too in your face with the vocals, uh, but uh, this thing does bang. I'll say bangs for sure. And then we've got Love Me A Little by Elenium featuring Nina Nesbitt. Uh, it's new, basic, melodic dubstep from Millennium. There's, It's really nothing special. It's, it's a Millennium track. It sounds like every other Millennium track you've ever heard is this one. Uh, then we've got Together by DNMO, uh, or Dynamo? I'm not sure how to say that, actually, uh, now that I'm reading and saying it out loud. Uh, but this is your very kind of basic drum and bass track, in my eyes at least. Nothing really to hold on to. It's pretty easily forgettable, I found, and uh, not quite the debut I was looking for from uh, from him on Monster Cat. So. Then we've got Against the Tide by Delta Heavy and Lauren Lament. Uh, again, standard drum and bass here. This sounds very much like your kind of classic Delta Heavy track. Um, great vocals from Lauren, but uh, pretty, cooker, cook, pretty cookie cutter in the end, all things considered. And then we've got Raver by Nanobi. Uh, this is not my style again, but a very fun track, I've got to say for sure. It's that Eurocentric, happy, hardcore track that just screams nostalgia. Uh, so if that's, that's your thing, then maybe you'll like that a lot, but... Uh, then we've got the White Lotus theme, or Aloha, by Dimitri Vegas and Steve Aoki. A uh, quick track with a bit of an Afrobeat to it. It's a great kind of beach summer track, I would say, but just needed a little bit of something more for it to land a little higher on my list. Uh, then we've got Hollow by Dabin and Kai Wachi featuring Low Spirit. Uh, two very different tones throughout this track. One trying a little bit too hard on one drop, and the other is just pretty stale, I would say. Uh, all in all, it was pretty meh, and I didn't think both either sounds were horrible, but I also didn't think they were great, so that's why it just lands in meh. Uh, then we got All I Wanted by Kellen featuring Wailed, uh, another short slap house track with deeper male vocals that I'm honestly just not into. Uh, it's not horrible, it's kind of your basic electro pop of sorts as well, and so yeah, it, of all the things that I hear that I think are kind of boring, this is the one I found more interesting than others, I would say. Then the next track is Spirit Showdown by Ace Aura and Focused. Uh, the Crystal Coalition EP is out uh, the second week of the, the things we've been covering. And uh, this is probably my least favorite from the EP. You'll see another song in a second here. It's a little spoiler. But uh, love the off drops of this track in particular and didn't really love the parts where it was the actual drop. Uh, so especially not, not that first drop. I wasn't a huge fan of it. So if it would have taken the non-drop sections and made those the actual full songs, I would have liked it a little bit more. Uh, then we got Traces of You by Nitrix. Nitrix taking on a house with this brand new track is uh, okay in the end, honestly. <laughs> I think it was just meh. I've uh, never been the biggest fan of his vocals. I feel like they're a little bit more on the whiny edge for me personally. Uh, but uh, I think there's uh, yeah, a decent amount of stuff here. Uh, production just fell a little flat for me to land in good. And speaking of good, moving into the good category now, we have got Not Alone by Don Diablo and Aztec. One of the better tracks I've heard from both producers here. Uh, brighter house song with a smooth beat, uh, with a smooth beat. Uh, vocals just a little lacking, but uh, still a song I really enjoyed. Uh, then the very, very fun uh, Ducks on Acid by Tynan. Uh, as the title implies, it sounds like Ducks on Acid. Uh, honestly, it's a very fun club or festival track that's very all over the place in a very engaging way. It's a meme song that is also simultaneously a banger. So, And then we've got Follow Your Heart by Leo Trix. Uh, compared to this other stuff, his other stuff, I'm definitely a fan of this newer one. It's bright and still noisy, but not too abrasive with the synths and uh, a very palatable vocal chop, which has been one of my biggest uh, gripes with Leo Trix in the past has been the vocal chops. And so this one's pretty, pretty solid. Then we've got Mad by Saint Punk, a fast-paced house track with a groovy tune, uh, never really lets up all throughout the run, try run time of the track, and a great, uh, I wouldn't listen to it, I think, individually, but a good playlist filler, I would say for sure. 
Then we've got the Keep On Rising VIP remix by Big Gigantic, originally by Big Gigantic and Aloe Black, um, with a very string-led intro, which I did not expect, and I really, really enjoyed. Uh, definitely a more take, a better, a more intense take on the original that I found to be a much-needed upgrade from the original. So. That's that. And then we've got Womp Portal by Ganja White Ninja, Ninja, Ganja White Knight uh, and Subtronics. It feels like a collaboration that should have happened ages ago. Honestly, the styles blend so well together and with that constant kind of deep bass line in your face hitting you over and over again, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty solid track. Then we've got Step Into It by Blue Claire, a nostalgic house track with not overly complex instrumentation or synths here, uh, but really engaging, I would say. So not kind of more simple track here. And speaking of more simplistic, we've got uh, Get Through by Coven, another kind of clean Coven D&B track here. Uh, that's again, just smooth. Katie's uh, vocals are stellar as always. And um, yeah, just a fun one. Then we've got Real Love by Sleepy Tom and Nagiri. I'm, just, Nagiri? I'm not even sure to say that at all. Uh, lighthearted funk track that dances in and out of a new disco style beat. And uh, I really enjoyed it. There's the uh, This Thing uh, this thing Called Life EP is out now. So if you want to listen to more of that or if that interests you, then go listen to that whole EP. Then we've got Vibrance by Ace Aura and Beast Boy and Mike Shift. A uh, very fun track on this one. I think actually my favorite of the Crystal Coalition EP. Uh, it's simply yet expansive and it's got a fusion of genres that always comes back to that kind of dubstep that we know and kind of love from Ace Aura. So yeah. Then we've got Anima by Starseed and Shadow Wanderer. In a very interesting track here. I would say it's more earthly and it's got a kind of constant, not so classic four on the floor type beat, um, but still always there and hitting you in the face. Um, no real, no lyrics at all. It's just pure instrumentation. And uh, I f just found it to be a really intriguing track, honestly. The atmosphere was, was, really, was really tight on this. Then we've got Oh Laura by S.G. Lewis. The Audio Lust and Higher Love LP is out now. Uh, this is just your really high quality dance pop with uh, more with more disco influences in it, and uh, it's a fairly fairly linear track. But I think some more of them on the on the LP are better. I would say, uh, but still 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 great. And then we've got Don't Look Down by San Holo featuring Lizzie Land. Another uplifting, bright, classic San Holo track, especially with that back end halftime drop. And then kind of just drops out the whole song after the drop. It just kind of just goes away, which is an interesting take from San Holo that we haven't really heard before. Um, and uh, it just feels like it would work really well on the album one. It feels like it matches in thematically with his uh, first album. Then we've got Survive by Space Laces, the start of a new era for Space Laces. It's a great tune, uh, but relatively linear, I would say, for Space Laces here, uh, keeping within the kind of higher register for a majority of the runtime. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun track, but uh, I definitely like the his last EP, uh, definitely better than these ones, than this track. And then we've got Once by Jaren featuring Jed Will. Uh, always some of the best sound design from Jaren here. Real, real big fan of this one. Uh, very complex indie tronica that I said in my reaction kind of feels like the future of music, honestly. Uh, left me wanting more in a good way. Then we've got Bring Me Back by Direct and Cloud Nun, a seemingly old school liquid drum and bass track from Direct uh, paired with the more modern tempo of Cloud Nun. It really does feel like old Direct and new Cloud Nun, I guess modern Cloud Nun together in one track that was just a combination of styles and ages and decades. And it was, yeah, I don't know, it was great. Um, probably the most unique song I've heard from the two of them and their many collaborations so far. And moving into the top five songs of the week, we're moving into standout songs that are standout this week. Songs I thought were absolutely killer. Best, best, best five standouts. I don't, I don't think we'll ever have five standouts in one video ever again. But uh, we've got Welcome to the Club, the Tesseract remix, remix originally by Pegboy Nerds and Stonebake. Incredible remix. I actually like this way much more than the original, way more over the original. Uh, super fun sound design with a kind of neuro breaks beat of sorts. Uh, this is what I expected the original to be like. When I when I think of Pegboard Nerds and Stonebake coming together to make a track, this is what I, I expect it to be. But somehow Tesseract just actually did it. And it, it was it was really good. So that's uh, I would highly re recommend listening to that remix. Uh, then we got Calling Us by Bad Computer and David Feldman featuring Jordan Grace. Uh, call back to a more earlier style from Bad Computer here with the more Electro House driven track, um, apart from his more uh, poppy stuff as of late. And, uh, you know, I'm honestly all for it with that kind of especially dark techno drop in the back half. This thing was fantastic. It felt like a real, um, for me, uh, like nostalgia for Bad 
bad computer, even though that's not too old. Old com bad computer isn't that old, but I think you know what I mean. Uh, this is the bad computer I know and fell in love with. And then we've got The Dark by Whipped Cream and, uh, or Josiah and Crimson Child, an anthemic grand track with an eerie atmosphere. It's got punchy hits to it with a drop that is very vocal forward. And my goodness, this is the best Whipped Cream track to date. Absolutely. Hands down. It is a phenomenal track with a great vocals. I really, really have been digging this one lately and I've been having it on repeat almost all week. I, it's great. It's, it's really great. Uh, then we've got The Other Side by AU5 and Chime. This one I feel is a given to be here. Uh, as I've said before, it's a masterclass of dubstep sound design. Uh, and it just does, it's just two titans going at it together. And it's it's just, it's so good. It feels like a showcase track, honestly, if not that, where it's just kind of all these different genres and ideas all together in one. And it's like, here, here's what we can do. Um, it hits all your kind of styles of dubstep and uh, it, it's, it's so good. And our top track of the last two weeks, technically, is Leave Me Like This by Skrillex and Bobby Raps. Uh, the best of the, I wouldn't say three singles I had originally, but now all four singles from the new Skrillex era. Skrillex making bass house. That's insane. This track is amazing. It had so much hype coming into it from the uh, earlier set from Fred again. And my goodness, this track uh, is, is so good. It's one of the better Skrillex songs I think I've heard maybe ever. Um, maybe that's, that's I like Supersonic maybe more than this, but uh, yeah. So with that, Oh, we are finally done. 47 tracks, two weeks. My goodness, finally got through it all. If you watched through the entire video, thank you. You're the best. You're the best. Way to feed the algorithm gods on YouTube. Thank you. But uh, other than that, I'd love to hear what you guys think of all these songs. <laughs> Any of them, I guess. Uh, anything I missed, put them in the comment section below. But other than that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.